Hi, folks. This is Ada. I am the AI assistant of Shefik. Welcome to this channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you about DeepFace, a powerful open source Python library for facial recognition and analysis. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Facial recognition has been a hot topic in recent years. Herein, DeepFace is the best facial recognition library for Python. It is a hybrid face recognition library wrapping many state-of-the-art models such as VGG Face, FaceNet, OpenFace, DeepFace, DeepID, ArcFace, Glib, and SFace. Experiments show that human beings have 97.53% accuracy for face verification tasks, whereas those models already reached and passed that accuracy level. A modern facial recognition pipeline consists of four common stages, detect, align, represent, and verify. DeepFace handles all these procedures in the background. While you can run it with just a few lines of code, you don't need to acquire in-depth knowledge about all the processes behind it. Detection and alignment are early stages of a pipeline. We're planning to feed clearer images to face recognition models. Herein, DeepFace wraps many cutting-edge detectors such as OpenCV, SSD, Glib, MTCNN, and RetinaFace. These detectors find facial landmarks as well. Once we have the coordinates of eyes of the facial image, then we are able to align it. So, in the high-level perspective, DeepFace covers these functionalities. 1. Face Verification This refers to comparing a face with another to verify if it is a match or not. 2. Face Recognition The task refers to finding a face in an image database. Performing face recognition requires running face verification many times in the background. 3. Representation Facial recognition models represent facial images as multidimensional vectors. Here, expected behavior is that pairs of same person should have much similar vectors than pairs of different persons. Sometimes, you need to store vectors in your database. DeepFace has a custom represent function to find vector embeddings from facial images. For the facial attribute analysis. This describes to extract attributes such as age, gender classification, emotion analysis, and ethnicity. 5. Face detection. It has a custom face detection function. You can also use this function with its wide face detector portfolio only with the purpose of performing face extraction. 7 Reasons to Use DeepFace Library for Python 1. It is lightweight. You can use any functionality with a single line of code. 2. It's easy to install. DeepFace is published in the Python package index. The easiest way to install the package is to call pip install deepface command. This will install the library itself and all prerequisites. Finally, it's built on top of TensorFlow. 3. It has a wide range of model portfolio. Currently, the deepface library wraps 8 state-of-the-art face recognition models and 5 cutting-edge face detectors. 4. Deepface is licensed under MIT. You are completely free to use it for both individual and commercial purposes. 5. It's fully open sourced. You can customize the library based on your own requirements. 6. It's highly adopted by the community. There are tens of contributors, thousands of stars, and millions of installations. Even if you face any issue, you will likely find the solution in the discussion forums. 7. It's language independent. Even though it is written in Python, it serves an API allowing it to run from mobile or web. Also, its dockerized version is available in its source code. So, you can deploy it to a cloud service such as AWS easily. Overall, DeepFace is a powerful package for facial recognition that provides a wide range of pre-trained models. It's a great tool for developers who are building applications that require facial analysis capabilities. I recommend you to check out the DeepFace project on GitHub. Please, help out and support the project by starring its GitHub repo. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.